This video is on the side, this is the side panel, and we're gonna talk a little bit about that cell phone pocket. Um, in an earlier video, we went ahead and we sewed this seam on the pocket, this, so this is the pocket. We sewed the top seam and the bottom. We did not sew the sides. The sides don't need to be sewn because they're attached when you do this seam. All right, so that's why I said do not do those. All right, now, the only thing you have to do to attach this pocket to the side panel is to lay it on the side panel to where it fits. And you'll see it only has one place where the top edge is the same width as this and same with the bottom. It is approximately where you fold that panel in half. When you cut it, the fold line should be about this bottom. Now, all you're gonna do is, once you have it laying on there, go ahead and top stitch across the bottom like that. That's it, it's a really easy pocket to do. Once you've done that, if you want to, we can just pretend I don't have it sewn on there. You can see here, I'll move this out of the way. What I did do was a little uh, tack down stitch on the top edge, so right over here and here. That way I didn't have to worry about them falling down when I was gonna be sewing. It's totally optional, you could pin it or just know ahead of time that you're gonna manage it. It's, either way is fine. Then, once you've done that, that means your side panel uh, for the lining is done. Then you're gonna to move to the side panel for the outer bag. And the only thing you need to do on that is your thumb strap. And so you're gonna follow the instructions in the description. You've got your cut size, you're going to fold it into fours or fold it in half inside out and sew a seam, whichever way you prefer to do. But then you're gonna insert that little scrap of foam in it, lay it down, and it just needs to be somewhere near the top. I would not get it up here because that's a seam. So I guess this is about an inch and three quarters down um, and insert it, it's fine. You don't have to be too particular. Okay, and I again, I would recommend leaving the extras sticking out because that foam makes it a little bit hard to handle. And if you've got that extra, you've got something to hold on to as you sew down. So once you've sewn that to your outer side panel and the pocket to the inner side panel, you have those two done. Then you're going to go ahead and place your pockets on the main front and back pieces. So they have one and only one place they'll fit. The, this angle has to line up to the straight side of the bag. Once you've got that laying down and the bottoms lined up, I'm going to recommend you do this. Just a quick little tack down here, one on this side, and then you might want to have a few pins. And you're going to, so you see this is a little bit of a problem. Um, I will, I will actually trim that up before I come back to stitch my final seam because I won't know where my bottom fabric is and I need them all to be the same. So the, the lining pockets are easy. For the outer pockets, it's a little more detailed because we've got those flaps, right? So what I'm gonna recommend you do is go ahead and place the lower, the big pocket first. Pin it down, feel free to uh, tack stitch if you want to then place your pocket flap. Now, because mine has this word on it, I've decided to move it up. I've got it a good half, healthy half inch, five eighth inch um, up. Preferably though, you would do this. This pocket is the way I much prefer. It's really just a, a scant half inch. Um, the reason being that tends to lock this down a little bit better. Um, if you have it too close, if we were to get it too close up here like that, it makes it hard for somebody to get into. So, you know, just a scant half inch, three eighth inch would be great. Top stitch it down. You do want to be mindful that when, depending on how you've sewn your pocket, that if you took too small of a seam, it's going to be really wide here and it'll get into the seam allowance here and here. That's not going to be good. So it has to be away from that seam. Once you've got it in place, and remember when we talked about turning, we, we did the clipping and the turning and all of that, we left behind this little hole. And I said, you don't need to hand stitch that. And this is why, you see, we're gonna come back. I'm gonna back stitch a little bit at the beginning of the flap because that's a stress point. I'll take my pin out. 
And I'm going to try as, you know, be as tidy as I can coming across right at the very top or very edge of that. And then I'm going to back stitch again. And that's it. Now, if you leave a long enough tail, you'll be able to just pull those tails to the inside of the bag and leave them. Don't cut them short. Just leave them in there. Um, they're going to be embedded in the bag. And when they're long, they won't work their way back out ever. And that's preferable. We don't want little rabbit ears sticking out. Mm, now I might have sewn on top of this one or something. Well, I'll be working on that one to get him to come on into the inside. And this one, I have already done that. Moved him to the inside. Then you've got your pocket flaps done and ready for the step where you're going to attach these two, which of course in this video I already did. But I wanted you to see how that process happens.